My name is Michael Darling, and this is the JM Ocean Avenue Global Compensation Plan. Uh, you know, oftentimes when I hear from somebody who's uh, considering looking at this business, and, and one of the first things they do is they look at the compensation plan document, you know, their initial response is that, boy, that this just looks really complicated. This is a huge document. Well, you know, the truth of the matter, it's actually exactly the opposite. This is actually a very simple, very straightforward compensation plan, but it is also extremely powerful because of some very unique things that the company does. And in fact, part of the, uh, perhaps the problem is that they pay us so many different ways that it makes that document quite large. So the purpose of this uh, presentation is really just to take you through in a very simple, straightforward way to show you how this comp plan works, uh, also give you some business building strategy for how to get started, and really to show you how easy and lucrative this business can be. So the first thing I've got to point out is that the JM Ocean Avenue Compensation Plan, it is the highest plan in the industry. It pays out the largest percentage uh, of commissions than any other product-based company in the industry, and that is as a result of a unique team building structure that they put into place here that is just not found in any other company has ever done anything like this. Um, now as we go through this presentation I'll point out a couple things. The currency values that I'm going to show you in this presentation are all in US dollars but that's just for illustration. So if you're in a different country uh, you can substitute that. Uh, those, those, uh, those currency values will apply to your local currency as well. And then the other thing, as a general disclaimer, you know, please keep in mind that the details that I'm going through here are for illustrative purposes only, and you need to consult the Jam Ocean Avenue Compensation Plan document itself for the actual details on all of the specifics that we're covering here today. Okay, so first thing, as we get started, there's a few different uh, kind of labels and a little nomenclature here you need to be aware of. The first is that to be classified as an active distributor, you must purchase a minimum monthly order of 50 PV during the month. Uh, only active distributors are qualified to receive commissions. Now what's PV? PV is product volume. Products have an assigned value called point volume or PV. A PV is used to qualify for active status as I just mentioned. Also in enrollment ranks, enrollment rank upgrades, unit level bonus, and pen titles and so forth. Now bonus value, BV, is also assigned to products and that is the value with which commissions are actually paid. So while a distributor may qualify as an active distributor using PV, it is the associated BV that is used to pay commissions. And JM Ocean Avenue adjusts that BV value based on local country needs such as inflation and so forth. The PV value will always remain constant. Okay, and as I mentioned before, the company pays a lot of different ways. In fact, nine different ways to earn money in this company. And uh, again, that is perhaps the reason that the comp plan document itself is so lengthy. We're going to simplify this though, particularly for new people as you come in, to just help you to see right out of the gate where you need to focus and what you need to do to build this business quickly. Now it's worth pointing out, those items here listed in the color are uh, paid actually weekly. So the company pays both weekly and monthly bonuses. This helps you to get in the money quickly and you earn money early and often with JMOA. So when you first enroll with the company, you're going to choose from one of four different enrollment packs, silver, gold, platinum, or diamond. That first purchase is going to define the rank that you receive, and the rank qualifies you to receive a certain percentage of commissions from sales orders purchased in your organization. Now, as you can see, there's a slight difference between North America and the rest of the world. For the rest of the world, if you wanted to be, let's say, a diamond pack, you would, you would choose the package. It is 900 PV. Now, in North America, that same package, it's the same package, it's the same value, it's the same price relative to other currencies. However, because of the fact that these products are based on a, a dollar amount, that is adjusted. And so, in fact, in North America, you need 1,500 PV to be diamond. It's actually very simple when you're looking at it. Packs are the same. Go with the diamond pack if you want diamond. Go with the platinum pack if you want platinum and so forth. Now, if you want to upgrade your enrollment pack, you can do that. Um, you can do that at any point in time that you want to do that. Uh, the company does place a slight premium on doing so. Uh, so, for example, if you wanted to go from the silver pack to the gold, you would pay an additional 500 PV to do so, which is slightly higher than if you just come in at the gold at the, at, the, at the start. If you wanted to go all the way, let's say from silver all the way to diamond, you would pay the total of these amounts. So you would actually pay uh, an additional 1600 PV to do that. Uh, but the company does allow you to do that at any time. Okay, so the first way we get paid is retail profit. Any retail purchase that's made through your JMOA website qualifies you for retail profit, which is basically just the difference between the retail price that the person purchasing the product pays and your distributor price. Any retail purchases by customers will count towards your own monthly order to retain active status. So what that means is if you have even just one customer that makes a 50 PV purchase, that covers your own monthly 50 PV maintenance requirement. 
Okay, the second way is the drive bonus. So for each new personally sponsored distributor, you'll receive a 20% bonus on the BV from their initial order as well as any upgrade orders that they make. Each month thereafter, you'll receive an additional 20% bonus on the first 50 BV of their monthly maintenance order purchases as well. So this is very simple. So for example, if this is you here in the diagram, and let's say your first week, you run out and you get three other people who come in at the diamond level. The diamond level is 900 BV, and so again, we're showing these values in dollars. 20% uh, of that would be $180, so you'd receive $180 on each of those people as an initial drive bonus. But then one of the really cool things about this plan that's very unique to what uh, JM Ocean Avenue does is that with their drive bonus, you receive part of that ongoing bonus as well. So if each of these people does a 50 BV order each month, you'll receive 20% of that amount as well. So that would be an additional $10 that you'd receive each month forever for as long as those people make those purchases. Okay, and the next bonus is the group bonus. Now, the group bonus is really a cornerstone of the Jam Ocean uh, Avenue marketing plan. Your team is derived from a dynamic structure that compensates distributors for successfully generating sales volume within their placement tree and motivating their downline to do the same. Distributors can earn on their sales as well as the sales of your downline within the placement tree. So the group bonus is calculated based on the total BV in your group, including initial purchases, upgrades, as well as monthly maintenance orders. Okay, you're allowed to have up to five legs for this. So we're going to get into this a little bit. It's very simple. Okay, at the end of each week, whichever of your leg has the highest BV in it, has the most volume in it, will be considered your qualifying leg. Your group bonus will then be calculated on the sum of the remaining peg legs. So based on your enrollment rank, you're entitled to either 10 or 12 percent of the sales in uh, the total sales in your pay leg and that's on all placement levels down through infinity regardless of what country the distributors are in so again you can see this is one of the advantages of coming in as a diamond uh, in the illustration here uh, we kept this very simple let's say the your first leg has 1800 BV in it let's say you had like two diamonds come in there and then you had four other legs with a 900 BV there was a diamond in each of those okay you would receive 12 percent on the sum of your pay legs. Okay, now there is a maximum weekly payout here. So depending on your rank, as you can see here, the weekly maximum increases. So again, nice to be diamond, you can have up to 125,000 in group BV per leg per week, paying out at 12%. Okay, carryover volume. It's basically the BV that's left over in your qualifying leg after you've subtracted the sum of your pay legs. Uh, and it allows you to carry those volumes over so that you do get paid on it eventually. So the higher your enrollment rank, the more you can carry over to the following week. So just as an example here, we're going back to that other example. Let's say that instead of the 1800 BV you had in your qualifying leg before, let's say that it was 20,000 BV in that first leg. And then you still had these four other legs with the 900 BV. So what happens is, you get paid on the four legs with the 900 BV as I showed in the previous example and then we subtract that amount from the 20,000 in your qualifying leg in this example that would leave you with 16,400 volume BV to carry over to the next week. If your status is not active in the current month group BV will continue to accrue and the BV from your pay legs will continue to be deducted from your qualifying leg. However, no commissions will be paid unless your status is active. So this is another reason, of course, why you would want to be active status. However, carryover volume for your BV is carried over for up to six months. Uh, so it actually would take six months if for some reason you forgot to make a maintenance payment or something like that, your carryover volume would continue to be there. This is pretty powerful. This is something that most companies don't do. Most companies will just flush that volume the very first month if you accidentally miss it. JMOA does not do that. You can see here the maximum carryover vo volume per uh, rank per leg. Okay, now before I continue, let me, let me talk to you just a moment about the power of the tree. So. JM Motion Avenue has, through this group bonus structure, an extremely unique and extremely powerful system. It is structured basically as a five-legged binary, but it pays more like a four-leg unilevel, paying 12% to infinity. Now, if that sounds Greek to you because you don't know anything about compensation plans, don't worry. 
basically what I'm saying is you're going to get the best of both worlds, the best of both models. The thing that's traditionally associated as a big benefit to binaries is the concept of spillover. The idea that people above you can place people below you and you will get paid on the volume generated from them and all future sales from their organization. This plan has that. Okay. The benefit typically associated with a unilevel is that it's very high paying and it's very stable long term. It's also a very fair plan. But what we've got here is a hybrid that, again, no other company has done that also somehow has figured out how to avoid the typical drawbacks associated with each of these models. So with binaries, they have a very bad uh, reputation in the industry, and for good reason, because very often a true binary, where you just have two legs, has some type of balancing requirement where you have to have your, your weak leg has to be at least a certain percentage of your strong leg before you get paid anything and or lots of breakage. What that basically means is that all kinds of things built into the, into the compensation plan that breaks that volume and allows it to go either back to the company or to some other people in your group rather than you being able to get paid on that. With this plan, you really do get the best of both worlds. So I'm going to show you that just as a, as a quick example to compare the Jam Ocean Avenue tree to what would happen, for example, in a standard binary. So let's say that there was $30,000 a month in volume coming in. In a standard binary, you'd have two legs. You have $15,000 in one leg, $15,000 in the other leg. Let's say you get 12% of that. You would get $1,800 off of your pay leg. With Ocean Avenue, we now split, let's say, that 30,000 into three legs. So you have 10, 10, and 10. Instead of receiving 12% on just 15,000, you're actually going to be getting 12% on 20,000 because you're getting 12% off of those two pay legs. That is 33% more money. Now, in this particular example, this may be a little simplistic, and uh, you may think that, oh, you know, $600 different, maybe that's not a, a huge amount to you. But when you extend this example out to huge organizations, this is a huge, huge big deal, particularly with the fact that, again, all the normal problems with binaries just simply aren't there. Okay, so what's the business building strategy? This is a question we get a lot. And so, you know, what I usually tell people is, you know, when you start this business, just start with two legs. Build each of those legs to where there you have about 5,000 PV in each. Then that's not an exact science. Roughly somewhere in there is the idea. And frankly, you know, some people do this in their first week. You know, if you bring in a couple diamonds, they bring in a diamond, you could very easily do this very quickly. At that point, you can then go ahead and open up a third leg and continue building each month under which other, other leg is the weakest. And so, for example, if, if your strong leg happens to be your first leg and you, you, your weakest one is your second leg, build there. It's very common for this to switch, for this to flop over. So all of a sudden, you're doing a lot of work in your third leg, and it becomes your qualifying leg. And maybe then you start building in your first leg, your second leg. So on any given month, you're just basically building at this point in whichever leg has the least volume. Do not open up a fourth leg until you start approaching that maximum weekly carryover volume I just mentioned. So again, as a diamond, you can have up to 125,000 PV per leg per week carried over. That's a lot of revenue. If you extend that out four weeks in a month, three different legs, you're talking millions of dollars in sales volume each month. Once you start approaching that, then it starts to make sense to open up a fourth leg. But until then, you won't be losing anything. However, should you open up a fourth leg or a fifth leg before then, basically what you're doing is just kind of hurting your own momentum. Those are, are people and distributors that you could have placed down underneath your existing legs, which would have generated more, uh, more business, more motivation, and, and encouraged people to continue building in those first three legs. Now, at this point, what we've gotten to up in this point in the compensation plan, retail sales, drive bonus and the group bonus, this is basically all you need to know to get started with JMOA. I'm going to go through the rest of this, but as a new person, you can almost just kind of tune out some of the rest of this. Now, don't tune out because there's some really exciting stuff at the very end here, but the point is, is that this is really all you need to focus on. It's as simple as what we've just gone through. Okay, so just real quick, pin title rakes. As your organizational volume grows, you'll achieve different pin titles uh, based on the amount of group volume that you have in the legs below you. So you can see the chart here. For example, once you have 5,000 PV in your qualifying leg and a total of 5,000 PV in the sum of your pay legs, you will have achieved the one star diamond rank. And it goes up from there all the way up into crown diamond, crown diamond ambassador. Okay, so for the fourth way that the company pays is the team bonus. The team bonus is actually really simple. You will receive a 10% bonus 
of the group bonus earned by active distributors who you personally enrolled. So when, before when we went through the group bonus, if you recruited somebody, brought them into the, the business and they earn a group bonus, you will receive 10% of that. Based on the number of people that you have personally sponsored, that allows you to qualify to receive 10% up to three levels deep. So as you can see here on the chart, if you have one active distributor, you'll get that first level. If you've brought in three active distributors and above, you're actually earning this team bonus on people's group bonuses up to three levels deep below you. Okay, and the fifth way that the company pays is the generational leadership bonus. As you reach Three Star Diamond, you'll be paid on up to five generations of Three Star Diamonds and above. The commission percentage will be applied to each distributor's personal BV, so that's their first order, upgrade rank and associated active monthly uh, maintenance order within that generation. Okay, and then we have the Unilevel bonus. Now this applies to people right out of the gate, but it's a bonus that will basically provide the potential for lifetime residual income, but it takes a little while to get this part going. But uh, essentially what happens is you receive a bonus each month from the product orders generated in your organization. Now this applies to the volume that exceeds that minimum monthly BV. So if you'll remember back when we were talking about the drive bonus, you got 20% of the initial purchase BV as well as 20% of the first 50 BV for all maintenance orders. Well some people ask well what happens to the rest of that volume uh, beyond that first 50 BV? Well it applies here so you get paid here based on that additional volume. Now the unit level pays out 75% down nine levels. It is a staggering, a breathtaking uh, payout on the unit level back end. To qualify for this it's simply a matter of purchasing more monthly uh, product. That's all there is to it. So that's one of the things I love about this Unilevel bonus is it's not based on performance. It doesn't require you to recruit a certain number of people. It doesn't require you to have a certain configuration of your team or a certain amount of volume and a certain number of legs. None of that matters. All you have to do, if you want to get paid three levels deep on the Unilevel, increase your monthly purchase to 100 PV. If you want to get paid six levels deep, increase your monthly purchase up to uh, 150 PV and with a 200 PV purchase you'll get paid all the way nine levels down. Now the great thing about this is you will know when you need to increase your monthly purchase because you don't want to miss those commissions as your organization starts to grow down into these levels. Very unique, very powerful. Okay, the seventh way the company pays is the Lifestyle Global Bonus. Basically they invite you to receive a bonus from the success of the company on a global scale. So regardless of where your teams reside, what the company does is it sets aside a 5% global Unilevel BV sales for this bonus and they, they divvy this up into shares as you start to get higher up in the company. And finally, the Crown Diamond Ambassador Bonus. Uh, as they say, you know, distributors who reach the pinnacle of leadership with Ocean Avenue truly are partners of the company and they should be rewarded as such. So JMOA reserves 1% of the monthly global sales BV to break up and pay to all those who have achieved the Crown Diamond Ambassador level. If there's no Crown Diamond Ambassador in any particular month, that will just roll over until the next time that there is. And the final way the company pays, this absolutely applies to everyone, even people starting in the company from the very start, so this is the part you're, you're glad that you hung in there and waited for, is the Vacation Club reward. Folks, people are coming into this company purely for this one part of the compensation plan because Jam Ocean Avenue really does believe in putting family first. And as you grow your business, doing all the things you need to do to grow create income, grow a large business, you're also going to be receiving vacation points for all kinds of different activities. Once you re reach 50,000 points, they can be redeemed for world-class vacations. Now, we're talking five days, four nights at five-star luxury resorts all over the world, all-inclusive of meals, drinks, and so forth. This actually includes an airfare credit, very unusual, never heard of that, as well as two of these trips each year. This isn't just an annual thing that happens. Two trips, they refer to them as ovations that occur each year and this is really the kicker. This isn't just for you. This isn't just something that you earn. But when you achieve this, it's for you. It's for a total of four people. So the idea here is to bring your spouse, bring your kids. This is a true family vacation. This is not a convention where you go and you sit in a classroom and have to learn stuff. No, this is fun, guys. If you're not married, you don't have kids, no problem. Bring three friends. That's totally up to you. Now, there's two ways to earn vacation club points. The first is just through your monthly personal purchases. The more monthly BV that you earn, 
the more vacation points you get. So uh, if you buy a 50 BV order a month, you'll get a 50 vacation points. 100, you get three times the vacation points. 150 BV, you get five times. And if you put in a 200 BV monthly order, as I do and many other people do, you will get 10 times the vacation club points. So what that means is a 200 BV monthly order, you'll receive 2,000 vacation points. Okay, and you can receive a maximum of 2,000 points from personal purchases each month. So you can't go and buy you know, a 1,000 BV order and get a bunch that way. You'll still be capped at 2,000 points from your personal purchases. Now, the second way that you earn points is through your group volume. And this is where these points can pile up very, very fast. So each personally sponsored leg that you have can have up to a maximum of 2,000 points. And you're going to earn one point for each BV that is purchased within your personally sponsored tree. So again, this can stack up very, very fast. There are some monthly limits. As a result, you cannot earn more than 10,000 Vacation Club points within any one month. But based on that, what that means is every five months, you could can, if you're maxing that out, earn a free vacation. It's just absolutely unbelievable. I want to thank you for watching today. Hopefully this has simplified your understanding of the compensation plan. If you have questions, of course, you know, get with your sponsor, get with your upline, and we'll be happy to help you out.